Hi, this is Russ Anderson. Today we're going to take a look at some of the functionality in Synthize 2008 based on the new Tracker Cleanup dialog. So we're going to start off here with a shot. It's about uh, 200 frames of uh, full HD resolution. So we're just going to start off by getting an initial solve on that. This is running on a 8-core uh, Mac Pro, 3 gigahertz one. So you move through that pretty swiftly. And so we're going to bring up this uh, tracker cleanup here. And uh, I'm going to leave it kind of in a little squ squish format here just so that we can see all the different things. Uh, normally you'd, you'd use everything kind of a bit bigger and easier to see. <laughs> but uh, we got to get a, little, a lot of stuff into a little space. So uh, when you bring up the tracker cleanup, it goes and, and takes a look at all the different trackers and analyzes you know, how long they lived, how long, you know, how, how accurate they are. And it only works after the scene has been solved, and it's comparing kind of the 2D and the 3D positions of each tracker to see just, just how good they are. So the first thing, uh, we'll run from the bottom up here. Uh, we can select uh, all the trackers that have a relatively high error, and it has some criteria on that um, based on what the... Uh, the difference is between those uh, 2D and 3D positions and pixels and uh, what fraction of the time. You know, saw those flash in the viewport over there and it gives you some idea of uh, what trackers are problematic. And at any time with the tracker cleanup dialog, you can go and click this uh, unlock uh, user interface button and actually go around so you can go and zoom in on things or whatever. Um, it's just kind of a, a handy little feature to uh, let you work easier with this particular uh, dialog. It is kind of a semi-modal dialog so that it can work efficiently. Um, you can also scrub through the shot just uh, all the time without having to unlock because there's a special frame uh, spinner there all the time. So um, those are the higher trackers and we also have uh, short-lived trackers and there's one up here that's uh, kind of interesting to look at. So Let's go take a look at that. And the criteria here is actually in frames, six frames. But if you look up on the timeline, you see that actually it's around for quite a bit longer than that. And the story is, if you watch what's going on, it's actually a moving vehicle. So the deal is that it's relatively short-lived during the time that it's actually valid even. So it's kind of a fairly sensitive little test there for the quality of the different trackers. Um, it also looks for uh, trackers that have little perspective. Those are the uh, farish sort of trackers. And it can also look for bad uh, frames themselves. So let's go and we're going to play some games here with the user interface. Again, this is usually works out better you know, when you take up a whole lot of uh, screen real estate. Uh, I'm going to switch to the squished mode of the graph editor which is going to show one one little bar running all the way across for each of the trackers and now I'm going to go and kind of make that graph editor as uh, take up that you know take advantage of the space available as best as possible so now when I hit on the uh, show button here you'll see that some of the bars turn red and those are just the bad sections of those individual trackers and again there there's a, a bunch of settings here for how you, uh, you know how it determines what's bad or not um, in this case it's showing the basically the two percent worst frames or you could show ones that are off by two horizontal pixels if you wanted to as well um, so this is another another way to find some some things where maybe a tracker has gotten off course for a little bit and you want to just uh, ultimately take out that bad uh, section of the track so the the normal action of the tracker cleanup dialog is to go and actually just delete the uh, the bad trackers um, which is, is uh, quick and dirty. Um, you can go, if you want instead, you, you, know, you can use the tool to, to identify them and go take a look and see what's going on and fix them. 
Uh, by default, the, you notice the, the bad frame discretion is uh, not turned on. It's kind of an option. It, it can kind of Swiss cheeseify your uh, tracks a bit, um, depending on how good or bad the situation is and exactly how the, uh, you know, what the degree of error is in the shot. So, you know, when you hit the, uh, the fix there, it's, it's gone and deleted things. And so your typical action after that is just to go and do a refine operation to go and tweak up the solution to reflect the changes that you've made in the tracking data. So that's really a, a quick look at the tracker cleanup. It's, it's just a way to help find things uh, and crack them quickly. As always, you know, going and, and you know, getting your hands a little dirty and seeing what's going on is always a good idea too.